Hey guys, this is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com bringing you another unboxing video. Uh, today's video is kind of interesting in the respect that this is actually a watch that I received from one of my viewers on the channel. Uh, in a previous video, one of the viewers reached out, had a watch that he was interested in trading. Um, unfortunately, the watch he was looking at, I had already sold. Um, so I connected up, he emailed me, um, we connected up and we were able to come to a deal. So let's take a look and see what I got. And we'll also talk a little bit about uh, what I traded him. So it was actually very interesting how easily this deal went through. Um, you know, the, the thing that I found is that the people in the watch community, although there's a lot of sharks out there, um, the people in the watch community are genuinely pretty decent about um, making trades. And, uh, you know, we've all been there. We all put ourselves at risk by making a trade. Um, but sight on scene, uh, two people never met in their lives, just trust each other enough to send product to another person in hopes that they get something in return. Now, the watch I actually received is a watch that, similar to one I reviewed in the past, and it's actually from the October Watch Gang Black subscription. So if you guys can guess, you might remember one of my other videos, it's actually an Armand Bossy Rocket Watch. Now, in my previous video, I reviewed um, my Pepsi Bessel Armand Bossy Rocket Watch. Um, but this one is actually the Armand Bossy All Black version. So as I mentioned, this Armand Bossy Rocket Watch was originally a Watch Gang Black subscription from October 2017. So as we take a closer look into this guy, as I mentioned before, pretty neat uh, watch case with this. Um, we open it up and inside the Armand Bossies come with uh, the metal band that's already on the watch and then typically a matching NATO strap. Um, in the case, you also have a strap changing tool to get the metal band off and put the NATO strap on, as well as um, some extra pins if you uh, bend a pin or lose a pin in the strap changing process. Now for me, typically, I always leave the metal bands on because I prefer uh, the metal bands over NATO straps, uh, but that's just my, my personal preference. Now, this specific watch, the reference number for this black on black version is AB 7591 A. Um, and that is the color combination for this Army Embassy rocket watch. This guy does have 316L steel case along with 316L rotating bezel with aluminum insert, all with a black PVD coating on them. These divers are 100 meters water resistant, um, as well as are being powered by the Seiko NH35 automatic movement. Now, these, these Armand Bossies are pretty nice. I mean, they're, they're a more cost-effective, or I'll call it cheaper, um, watch. You can see on the back right there, it does have a dis open face display back, so you can see that um, Seiko automatic movement in it. I'll do some close up pictures of this watch at the end, but it's, it's a pretty sharp watch. Um, it's a little bit on the lighter side, but it's a watch that's interesting to me, so I, I picked another one up. Um, plus the, the fact that uh, one of my subscribers had it and uh, I could trade something and get him something uh, that he wanted. Uh, I think it was a win-win situation for both of us. Now, one thing I did not point out, um, you guys may have saw in a previous video, I did a review on an original grain barrel watch uh, with the rose gold case and band. That is actually what I traded for this watch. Now, <clears throat> there's, there's a whole different a whole bunch of different thought processes on how you orchestrate a trade or how you go about it and who's getting a better deal, that type of thing. Now, 
I'm not even gonna comment on who got a better deal in this trade. Um, I think the original grain might have a little bit better trade value than the Armand Bossies, but um, for me personally, I knew that uh, Rose Gold original grain was not a watch that I was gonna use on a regular basis or wear on a regular basis simply because I wasn't a fan of the color of it. So hopefully it's something that uh, he's able to wear and get some use out of. And because uh, I know this watch is definitely something I will get a use out of. Now, just as a, a refresher, this watch on their website, on Armand Bossy's website, which is armandbossy.com, is selling for 390 euros, which is, I believe it's right around $450 US. That's the retail price on this watch. Um, personally, I would probably never spend the retail price for this watch itself. Um, just because the market is flooded with them right now. Not necessarily this specific color, but the Armand Bossy divers in general um, due to the, the watch gang uh, subscription. If I jump over to eBay on eBay, these watches are going anywhere from $120, $99, $155. Um, they're kind of all over the place. I haven't seen anybody getting more than 150 I think I might have seen one where somebody got 175, but it was only because the person purchasing it was looking to complete a collection of all the color variations that they offer. And that's an interesting thing to note also. I have seen on three different occasions where um, people have tried to collect all the color combinations of this watch itself um, and then sell that as a collection. Um, and from what I've seen, they're doing a little bit better selling them as a complete color collection than uh, from a financial standpoint than if they're selling the watches individually. Now, currently, this is the only Armand Bossy watch that I have in my collection. Uh, the Pepsi Bezel Diver Rocket Watch that I had previously reviewed, I ended up actually selling that watch. Um, that watch I sold for the subscription price plus shipping. So, um, you know, about $130 I sold it for just to recoup my costs on it because it wasn't a wash that I was, I was gonna wear on a regular basis. For some reason with the Pepsi bezel, um, Armand Bossy, to me, the coloring of the red was off just a little bit. It looked more pinkish than, than a true red. Now, the Coke version um, the red and black bezel of that watch, the red seems to be okay, but on the Pepsi bezels, the red seems to be a little bit pinkish to me, and uh, it just, to me, it didn't really look that well, so I sold that one on down the way. So I'm kind of glad to have this Bossy back in my collection. And black um, is something that I wear on a regular basis, and I think this is just a really, really sharp watch. One thing I am gonna do with this watch um, in this video for you, but I'll speed it up so you don't have to sit through the, the painful time it takes me to do it. Um, but I am going to go ahead and size this watch on the video for you, um, just so you can see at a high level what it takes. Um, but before I do that, I just want to point out one tool that I picked up from Amazon. And this is a, um, this is a link removal tool. Um, previously, you have seen me use this one. Um, that came with the uh, $7 watch repair kit that I got. This one has worked well, but over time what I've noticed, the pin on it has started to bend, and then when I'm really having trouble with a pin, the plastic flexes. So I picked up, I picked up this tool, um, which was extremely cheap. This, this guy I think was five bucks, and this is actually a steel case, so there's no give to the to the tool itself um, and from what I've seen so far on the couple of watches that I've worked with on it it, it it just pops the links out like butter it's night and day difference over the the cheap plastic pusher um, that comes with the band also there's um, multiple adjustments or a adjustment on this so you can adjust up and down the base so that you can get the pin lined up exactly and then screw it in
So now my bossy is perfectly sized and ready to go into the watch box. Alright, thank you for sticking around and watching uh, this unboxing of this Armand Bossy Rocket Watch Black on Black Edition. Um, I'm going to post up some uh, close-up pictures here in just a second. Let me see if you can figure out what is wrong with some of these pictures on this watch. Um, specifically pay attention to the loom shots on this watch. See if you can pick up on something that Armand Bossy forgot uh, when they were manufacturing this watch. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Um, if you have any questions, post them up in the comments below. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook slash My Watch Addiction, Instagram at Instagram slash WatchAddiction.us, and always on our website at MyWatchAddiction.com. If you like the video, please hit like and absolutely subscribe. We've got a bunch of great videos coming up here in the future and on through the Christmas season. Thank you guys and have a great day.